And so what ends up happening is that we can stop sort of playing this game where we're doing this reaction, where we're like, oh, we're dealing with spondy, we're dealing with torn labrum, we're dealing with plantar fasciitis, we're dealing with Achilles problems, and we can start flipping this into, oh, by the way, that injury prevention model is the performance model. And what I want to really hammer on you guys is where we've seen really good strides in the athletes I get to work with is that when we focus on position, when we focus on mechanics, when we focus on alleviating the torque dumps, seeing we're bleeding force, what we see is that we set world records, we win more gold medals, our athletes come back safer, we have entire swim teams that don't have shoulder pain for an entire season, and now we can get about the, the line of who's got the best strength and conditioning program. Because ultimately, the only thing we should ever argue about is how many times a week do you need to squat, right? Do you need to push a lot with your, bench, with your footballers during the season? These are the questions that you can answer because you're a, you're a strength and conditioning coach. Does that make sense?